Satnam. Setting the space for our morning practice. If you'd like to light any candles or incense, sage, just take this few moments before you begin to create a sacred space. pose, cross-legged position. You're going to bring your hands together and begin to rub them at the heart center. And then press the palms in prayer at the sternum. Inhale deeply and lift the spine up tall. Through the mouth, exhale. Inhale deeply to tune in. Om Namo Powerfully exhale. Release the hands onto the kneecaps and begin to roll your spine around your pelvis, around your hips. Sufi grind. Inhale the heart forward. Exhale the heart back. Inhaling sat. Exhaling nam. Starting to come into your body this morning. directions. Meditating at the third eye point, that space between the brow. Center through the mouth, exhale. Relaxing your head forward and then beginning to roll your head in big, full circles. Let the jaw be soft as the ears drop towards the shoulder, the back of the head to the back of the neck, and the chin grazes across the chest. Feel all the muscles in the neck. Consciously relax them and release any tension and switch directions. Inhale deeply in the center. Through the mouth, exhale. the soles of the feet together, letting the knees fall out and butterfly, holding onto the shins. You're going to inhale and pull the heart forward. Exhale, curl the spine back. A variation of our spinal flex to get our spine warmed up and ready for our Kriya. Inhale forward, exhale back. Feel opening across the chest and through the back between the shoulder blades. Always keeping that focus at the third eye. Picking up your speed a little bit now. Building the energy up the spine. Inhale in the center, tall spine, high heart. Exhale. 
relax. Extending the legs out in front of you, shake out the knees, let that blood flow down to the toes. Inhale your arms up to the sky, flex your feet. Exhale, reaching for the toes. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. If you can't hold your toes, then let the hands come to the shins or the knees or the ankles. Try not to bend the knees, rather shorten the reach. Inhale up, exhale down. Feel the energy flowing from your fingers to your toes as everything in your body becomes activated. Shoulders relaxed as you move. once again and come into easy pose. Preparing for our Kriya, bringing the right hand into Gyan Mudra, the left hand up to block the left nostril. You're going to begin breath of fire through the right nostril. So pumping the navel in a rapid inhale and exhale, even part inhale, even part exhale. Pump the belly back as you exhale, relax as you inhale. Keep the spine tall, focus of the third eye. Building our sun energy, which flows through the right side of our body. Our vitality, our stamina. exercises are pranayams, breath exercises, awakening that prana, that life force to flow through us with power and grace. Place your hands and place them on the crown of your head. Pull your elbows back so you're stretching across the heart and begin to pump the belly once again. Same breath of fire, same pranayam, but this time through both nostrils. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Activating all the muscles of the abdominal area. Stimulating the digestion elimination as we fire up the belly to shine bright through the heart.
deeply. Lift the energy, squeeze the root lock. Hold the breath. And exhale. Coming over onto your hands and your knees. Wiggling it out, shaking it out, getting that blood back into your body. Coming onto your belly. Let your forehead rest on the earth, third eye connecting to earth. And just take a few deep breaths here. Bending the knees, reaching back for the ankles. If you cannot grab your ankles, you'll just stretch your arms back. But if you can grab your ankles or the tops of your feet, pull your body by pulling your feet away from your buttocks. That will lift the heart, then lift the head, and begin breath of fire. Keep arching that spine, keep squeezing those thighs towards one another, activating the legs to lift the spine up, to stretch the torso back. Powerful breath. This posture aids and balances the digestion. It is one of the greatest postures you can bring into your morning ritual, your morning practice. Keep resisting gravity as you do the best you can to lift, lift, arch, arch, open that heart. You've got it. Just a little bit more. Inhale deeply. Hold the posture. Stretch up. Exhale, release down, let the forehead come to the earth, release the feet, make a pillow with your hands, wiggle out your hips, and take a moment to just let all the energy move up and down your spine. You're going to roll over, coming on to your back. Let your palms rest up and enjoy a little mini Shavasana here. Inhaling Sat, exhaling Nam. Let everything in your body fall into stillness. Relaxing your mind, not getting lost in the to-do list for the day, but keep bringing yourself back to your breath to this moment, to this present moment, this sacred moment, this sacred time that you've allotted yourself for the day. Be in it fully. Inhale deeply. Exhale and roll your body up into stretch pose. So you lift your feet six inches off of the floor or you can tuck your hands underneath your buttocks. Whatever you need for support. Hands are either underneath the buttocks or they're stretched by your sides. Like you're reaching for your toes, your head and your shoulders are off of the floor. Your toes are pointed. Your gaze is at the toe so the eyes are open and you're beginning breath of fire. Powerful, powerful breath. Pump the navel. Reach, reach, reach. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You've got this just a little bit more. Let your belly dance as you awake your body to the day. Inhale, exhale, release. Let all that energy distribute through your body. Inhale, exhale, release. 
Deep belly breath. Bring your hands underneath your buttocks. We're going to begin a bicycle. You're going to shoot one leg out and then bring the opposite leg in. Getting as close to the earth as you can. Let your head stay on the floor. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, push it out. Pump the legs. Pump the prana through your body. You're stronger than you think, you're braver than you know. So do everything you can to keep up, to meet that challenge, to find that edge and go beyond it. Creating powerful circulation through the hips. Inhale, pull the knees in. Exhale, shoot the legs out. Release them down. Unleash the hands, let the palms rest up. Take a moment just to let that energy flow. Last ab posture, tuck your hands underneath your buttocks, inhale the legs up to 90, exhale them down. Pumping the legs, using the core to make them move. You're almost there. You're almost done for the morning. So keep up. Keep up and you will be kept up. Squeeze the thighs. Inhale up, squeeze the belly back, exhale with control, release down, release the hands, let the palms rest up, bring the soles of the feet together and frog leg your legs out, let those knees fall out as you just breathe into the sit bones, breathe into the pelvic bowl, breathe into the hips. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, breathing into those palms, just thanking your body for making this commitment to have a daily practice. Bring the knees together and roll your body over onto your belly once again. Coming on your elbows into Sphinx Pose to start, zip the legs together, drop the shoulders, lift the heart, lift the chin, breathe long and deep, all the way down to that belly. If you want full extension, walk the hands back, press up into Cobra, bend the knees, point the toes, as if you were trying to connect your head and your toes whatever ability you can, just breathing into the beauty of that back bend. And remembering that back bends are really heart openers. So most importantly, feel the opening across your chest. Breathe long and deep. Breathe long and deep. 
Modifying as you need. Maybe you play with all variations. Rest the forehead on the backs of the palms. Let the energy flow through your spine. One more time, roll back onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around, give yourself a big hug, bring your nose to meet your knees, make yourself a tiny seed as small as possible. Squeeze the knees in as you inhale. Squeeze them even tighter as you exhale. Deep breath. Consolidate all the energy that you've created through this Kriya. For our final two postures to complete our Surya Kriya, our Sun Energy Kriya. Inhale, squeeze your nose up, get smaller, smaller, smaller. Exhale, release the head, but keep the arms where they are. And then begin to rock and roll on the spine. Rolling all the way from the shoulders to the sit bones, making your body round. So keeping the chin tucked into the chest, rounding the spine like the bottom of a rocking chair, rolling up and down. Mixing the blood. and rise up to stand for our final posture to complete this Kriya I'm going to demonstrate sideways so you can see what my feet are doing extend your arms out they should be strong as steel no bend in the elbows begin to rise and fall on the heels inhale up exhale down pump all that Surya energy all that Sun energy into your body rising to the day, rising to meet the day and whatever it brings. Keep going, keep going. I know your calves are burning. Let them burn a little, it's okay. Pump, pump, pump. sensations melt out God and me. inhale the arms me up to the sky God, exhale drop them through center in prayer God and me. inhale them up to the me sky and God, exhale them down through center through prayer God and me. we're going to finish with a shake so start to shake out your body, shake your hands, shake your arms, shake your hips, shake your knees. Now you're probably doing this at home alone, so you can really start to 
get loose, get funky, get free. I want you to shake everything in your body. Just distribute that energy like you are the sun. Make faces, stretch your face. Get into your joy, get into your funk, get into your funky hit for the day. So that you can meet life with a bounce, with a skip in your step, with the joy in your being. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it all. Shake even faster. Shake like your whole body were on fire. Shake. Fill your body with prana. Hold the breath. Exhale. And come seated down. Great job. Coming into easy pose. Let your hands rest on your knees. Close your eyes. Deepen the breath. Let the heart rate slow down. Trusting this body. And when we work it in the right way, it will deliver the answers that we need for our life. Between the head, the heart, our spirit, our soul, the answers are all within us. We just have to create the ecosystem, the environment for them to be shown, to be heard, to be seen. to finish our meditation with our hands in Gyan Mudra. It's a four-part breath, a four-part pranayam for this meditation. The eyes are focused at the tip of the nose. You inhale in four segments, maximizing your lungs at the top of the fourth inhale, exhaling in one smooth exhale through the nose. Meditating on the breath of your life, the sound of your breath. Finding your own pace to inhale in these four even parts. Pausing at the top for a moment and then through the nose, exhale smooth and steady. Inhale deeply, suspend the breath, sit in the center of the stillness, and exhale. Extend your legs out and come rolling down onto your backs. Make yourself as comfortable as possible as you let your palms rest up and your toes fall out. Resting your body, this is where the restoration happens, the rejuvenation. So do your best to not skip relaxation, but to give yourself this last few moments before you rush into your day and your morning to rest, to be calm, to experience all the work that you've done through this Kriya.
attention back into your body, deepening the breath. Exhale, take a cat stretch from left. And then to the right. Releasing and bringing both knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around. Squeeze yourself into that small seed once again. Begin to roll up and down the spine as you roll your way back up to seat. Coming seated in easy pose, taking a final moment to close your practice, rubbing your palms together and then pressing them in the heart. Inhale deeply, exhale completely, chanting the mantra Sat Nam, sealing this practice with your truth. Inhale deeply. Sigh.